Today on Cooking with E, let's make some breakfast. Mmm. So I got a whole bunch of stuff here we're gonna make for breakfast. We got some uh, hash browns, a little bit of sausage, sausage, some bacon, we're gonna make a little bit of omelet action. Got some cheese, a little bit of onion and peppers. And then got some eggs. Just letting this thing get heated up here. Got some oil on there. We'll get into it. All right, let's go ahead and throw this sausage over here. All right, I'm gonna come off here. I like to throw this on the side and let it uh, start to heat up. I don't wanna get it in the middle and and burn it before it's cooked all the way through the middle. I've done that before, so I learned you throw it on the side. I only have the middle two burners on, which is how I normally cook on my griddle, so I have cool side, cool side, and then hot, hot. So, let's get this bacon out. Bacon's always fun to separate, but let's see what we can do here. If you don't have a griddle and haven't cooked breakfast on a grill, I'm telling you, it'll change your life. You can put everything on just about at once. Can't have enough bacon ever. And if you haven't checked it out, I have started a Facebook page called Griddle Nation. Go ahead and jump over there, give it a like. You can go ahead and post your stuff you're cooking, throw photos, videos, whatever you want, and uh, we'll share the knowledge of cooking with each other. Just let those rest over there, they'll just slowly cook, kind of like we're doing with our sausage here. I think we still got some room for a couple hash browns. Once again, these are, are totally frozen right now. So I'm gonna leave them on the sides just to slowly we thaw out and start cooking. We'll bring them in the middle slowly. Uh, gotta let that bacon fat get on there, season the grill for us. And then we'll go ahead and pull some of that fat off so we don't get, well, we'll have a little bit of fat on there, but you can't have it drowning in it. Time to flip the bacon. And the party's always jumping a little more in the middle here, so once these start getting good and crispy, I'll pop those out and I'll move these over to the middle and keep the process till we get them all cooked. If you haven't tried beef bacon, find some beef bacon. A uh, local Kroger type store will have it. Um, it is so incredible. It tastes more bacon even bacon. Okay, bacon's done. We do have quite the swimming pool of grease right in here, so I'm just gonna pull some of that before I start moving the sausage over. Another tip is take your hash browns, dip them in that, and then push them back off to the side because that bacon grease, oh. All right, I've dipped those in the bacon grease. Go ahead and flip our sausage. And there we go. You can see they're just getting brown, but they're not burning. If I put them too close here, they're gonna burn. 
go ahead and move over these vegetables. Once again, it's that bacon love. It just makes the world go round. So E, how do I know when the bacon's done? See that? It's really hot burning my finger, but that is crispy, crispy, crispy bacon. Mmm, mmm. Crunchy. That's perfect bacon. Okay, time for the sausage to join the party. Just bring them in slow. If you push them right to the middle right away, you will have a facial, and people are going to look at you funny when your face is all red from all that grease burning you. And I still keep them kind of to be outside. I, I don't like them burnt, so. Everything's always a little better with some Cosmos Road. A little for the hash browns. Okay, it's time for the hash browns to jump in. Once again, I don't move them all the way to the middle. I kind of keep them to the outside because otherwise they'll burn real fast. And you'll get a little bit of giblets from cooking the bacon and the sausage, but come on. That tastes all good. I did turn the griddle all the way down to low because when I cook my eggs, I don't want it too high. Otherwise, if it's too high, your eggs will go. <coughs> And instantly burnt or done, overdone. You don't even have time to put your toppings in there. So, just another tip. All right, let's start making an omelet. We got a couple of pieces of sausage that weren't quite done to my liking. So, what we want to do is take the eggs. Show it good and whipped up here. Do a little. Right about there. Get your cheese handy. It's a little hot. This first one's really good. It's really fast. A little more cheese. Okay, I took some bacon, crumbled it up. A little bit of our vegetable mixture. Let it rest for a minute here. And then we'll go ahead and flip it, pop it on a plate. Pretty simple. And one more little touch of Cosmo. It's just salt, pepper, garlic kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it. I do it. Bam. Nailed it. Sticks the landing. All right, I'm going to finish this up, get on a plate. We'll put this together. Go have some taste test. Let's go ahead and try this. Mmm. Want some? Mmm. Mm. Grab a griddle. Hit that subscribe button. I'll bring more to you. Try that for breakfast. You're going to absolutely love cooking on a grill for breakfast. Appreciate every one of you. See you next time.